my inside rain is the directional rain, my outside rain. If I need to square everything up and make it go forward, I just close it and use my feet to help him push forward. In this, I might take his nose away a little more just to make sure I keep the lateral movement, make sure he stays soft side to side. If I do this, if I bring his nose to the inside and I feel like, like he pushes off over here, I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna use both feet to encourage him to stay going forward and not push out through my hands. Bring him back the other way, I'll take his nose away. If he feels like he goes out, he's not really that bad, but I'll just use this outside rein to keep him coming around and not. For my lead change, I just continually think everything reaches straight forward. I just constantly try to keep feel between my hands and my feet and make sure that all four corners of this horse keep reaching straight forward. Even, even on a circle, I want him straight and reaching forward. I don't want him bent hip in or front end out. I want everything going straight forward right here. At any point, may it feel like I can turn a corner and run a straight line and nothing changes. They're still traveling the same here as what if I put him on a circle. And all that helps me, that consistency of making sure that they are square underneath me and reaching forward helps me prepare to teach them to change leads. So no matter if I'm in the left lead going in a left circle or I change and I go to counter canter, they still know to keep their body square between my hands and my feet and keep reaching forward. If he feels like he gets a little slow and lazy, I'm just gonna keep squeezing him forward right there. If he feels like right there, he feels like he's kind of laying on that wall. So I'm gonna close this outside. And if he feels like he pushes, I'm gonna bring everything back underneath him right here. This outside rein is a break. Aaron, what, uh, what would be some common mistakes that, that people might do at home? One of the biggest mistakes that I, that I would make is I don't diagnose whether or not I'm protecting my horse and letting them push through, push through my hands just to get the change. Or whether, you know, I, don't, I diagnose whether they're, they're not, if they're not completely square underneath me, but all I can think about is the lead change. And if they're, if they're not square and traveling straight, it's gonna make them, it's gonna make it really hard for them to change. So not to get.